YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. I'm Jody Joe. Breaking news: the Batgirl suit has been revealed, and I'm about to take my first look at it and have my first reaction right along with the rest of you. Here we go. The colors are nice. Um, what's with the leather biker suit, bro? Why, why not the skin tight? Ah, man. It looks CW. She looks good, and, and the cowl looks good. Her hair is appropriate. That yellow of the cape is tight. The yellow accent's tight. The color's tight. The colors are right. But it's that material, that leather biker suit that looked like you could have just made it home. Why couldn't they, she get like a spandex tight superhero -y looking movie a film suit? I don't like, I don't like it. I like the colors of it, but I don't like how it looks cheap. It looks CW-ish. Oh man, freak. It's kind of baggy. I don't like it, man. Oh, man. That's disappointing, bro. I got to keep it a buck with you guys. I'm disappointed in the suit. They got the color scheme right. She looks appropriate. She's beautiful. She got the red hair. But why did you have to give her this baggy Captain Marvel looking suit, bruh? That looked like the first Captain Marvel suit. Yeah, but Jay Beast, it looks like those X-Men costumes from the 2000s. You look like you just went to the freaking leather shop. You look like you went to Harley Davidson, and you said, yo, let me get a, a, a biker suit. Let me get the blue one. I got some patches I want to put on it. It looks like a biker suit from a freaking motorcycle club, and you got a little accessory here that you strapped onto your thigh. And then you put a patch over the biker suit. The cowl looks heroic. That looks like a, a hero cowl. That cowl looks nice. It looks like those ears are pretty far back. That looks, uh, we need to see this cowl in a better light. That looks just like the, that cowl looks like the Batman cowl with the big hammerhead with the ears all the way in the back. It's hard to tell because of the shadow, but it looks like those ears are way, way in the back. I like this yellow. I do. And that's the right material. It has like a nice, as a sheen satin look to it, which is great. The height of it lining up with the knees, that's appropriate. The yellowish gold accents, that's right. The colors are right. The quality is off. This looks like a certified CW suit. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to look up the Batgirl. I'm about to look up Batwoman on the CW. I am going to argue that Batwoman just might have a better suit from the CW. Please say it ain't true. Oh, no, say it ain't so. Oh, say it ain't so. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I think it's so. Oh, no. Oh no, please don't. Oh no, please. Oh no, please. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's true. Oh no. Oh no, both of them do. Oh no. Oh no. Batwoman has a better suit, dog. Oh no. Both of them do. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no, they're better. Oh! From here, from here up, she got it going on. From the hair, the cowl, everything below the neck, lacking. From here up, from here up, it's a mess. From the neck down, they got it going on. It's the opposite. Fuck! Leather biker suit? This uh, and this is with this is with 100 per, 100 100% no shade to Marvel. Marvel is known as having mediocre superhero suits because they use leather suits for a lot of their heroes, bro. This is a Marvel-esque suit. Look at this suit. It's biker. It's leather. St listen, word of advice. Stop making superhero suits out of leather. Ain't no superhero running around here with a leather superhero suit on. It's spandex, Gore-Tex, rubber. You got to do it. I know it takes. A, it costs more money to make, but what's freaking another 10, 20, 30 Gs, man, to make the suit look right? It looked like she walked up into freaking uh, the Harley Davidson motorcycle store and said, yeah, give me the Batgirl. I've seen cosplayers at WonderCon that had better Batgirl cosplay than this. I don't like it. I like the colors. I like her, the way she looks in the face. I like the cowl, the hair color. But I don't like it, bro. A baggy biker leather two-piece suit. I mean, it could be, a, it might be a two-piece. Yeah, it don't even look like it's one. It looks like the Triple belt is. Combo. Since when the CW makes better suits than the HBO Max show is a problem. That is a problem. That's unacceptable. That's strictly unacceptable. You guys remember Captain Marvel's Kree suit? That's what this reminds me of. Baggy and unflattering. <laughs> Take a look. It's in a book. The reading rainbow. It's right there. It looks just like this. This leatherish, baggy, unattractive, unsexy, unheroic looking suit. Look at the similarities. Look at that. I mean, this one's a lot better, but this right here, bro, look at that. Triple combo. Yeah, that's a no-go for me. Guys, what do you guys think? Let's go to the let's go to some of these donations that you guys have here. Thank you very much for showing love. Uh let's start off with five hundred dollar club inductee, Shogun Assassin. Shogun Assassin says, Why does it look like she got a jacket on, bruh? LOL. No armor whatsoever. The choice for the material ruins it. Correct. It is a jacket. It's a leather jacket, dog, and it zips up in the Triple middle, my nigga. Combo. Look, that's the zipper. That's the zipper. That's why I said she, like, she went to Harley Davidson. She went into Harley. My nigga, I, you know what? I don't even, I think it's a one piece, but I don't know for sure it's a one piece. But it, it, it still, it doesn't look good. It zips right up right here. It's a leather biker jacket, dog. She got a biker jacket. Tyree says, I see why this is on HBO Max. LOL. Triple I'll take combo. the Batgirl suit from Batman and Robin over, over this. LOL. The colors are right, though. Yeah, let's look up the Batgirl suit from Batman and Robin. Dang, bro, you're right. Dang, bro. The bad girl suit from Batman and Robin. Look at this, bro. This is even better. Pick your pick, take your pick forever. Robin. It's gotta be a tight, 
form-fitting, figure-defining suit. And it's not about being sexist. This is how the comic book characters look. They don't run around in leather biker suits. So why do that here? And you picked an attractive girl to play bad girl. Why is you, Why are you not, you know, this, that Christina Hudson shit, bro? Christina Hudson is all about desexualizing women. That's why you saw Harley Quinn in Birds of Prey with baggy shorts, baggy pants, baggy shirts, not to reveal sexiness, man. And all the men were trash. You know, just knowing Christina Hudson is writing Bad Girl, I instantly knew that this film's probably going to be trash. But now when I'm seeing her suit and you can't and you are desexualizing a very sexualized character is a sad disservice. And it's on HBO Max. This ain't kitty shit, bro. This is for adults, man. This is for it's for teens and tweens and all that, but come on, man, it's HBO Max. This ain't Disney Plus. Not a good look in my opinion, bro. All right, Aliko said he sent me a DM with a better look at the suit, so I will be taking a better look at the suit. Oh, what a letdown. Oh, her boots. Oh, my, oh my God, her boots. Oh, my God, her boots. Her boots. Oh, my God. She went to the big five and got her costume, my nigga. She said, let me get the hiker boots. Bro, she got security guard boots at the mall. Nigga, she got swat. Nigga. What are those? You win. Perfect. What are those boots? Big ain't his... Bruh. Bruh. The boots, bruh. The boots. The boots, my nigga. The boots. She look like a dude. What's going on? Her bad girl suit is tapered. She got on jack joggers. She got on a tapered pants suit. It's tapered. It's baggy at the top and it gets tapered at the ankle, my nigga. She wearing joggers. Leather jogger pants. Bro, man, god dang. This is going to be a, she going to be a whole nigga, bro. I'm telling you right now. Bad girl, don't think about her looking sexy in this movie. She going to be having sweatshirts. Quote, Jody Dom is now. Uh, when she's not as bad girl as bad girl in costume, and you see her around the house or going places, big jackets, sweatshirts, plaid shirts, loose fitting clothes, just like Captain Marvel, Birds of Prey, bro. Christina Hudson's sheet cannot be overlooked, bro. <laughs> Thank you, David. He says, uh, looks like those cheap bad girl costumes that they advertise for the kids on Halloween. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough, bro. Uh, Jersey the King says, that suit is trash. But what I meant by you showing the love back was you checking out my channel. Don't mean to put you on the spot, but I just keep it real. That was definitely putting me on the spot at the wrong time, too. And that's me just keeping it real. Uh, you could have just DM me, bro, and I would have freaking checked your channel out. But yeah, I'll check your channel out regardless, bro. It's all good. Target says, I do believe... <laughs> Target. Target says, I do believe we have that leather jacket on sale right now. <laughs> this is sad, but it's funny, but that's sad, man. Jacquez, $10. Thank you, Jacquez. I appreciate you. He says, Jody, show the Batgirl suit from Batman and Robin movie when George Clooney played, when, when he played him. That suit was better. Yeah, I just showed that to the world, bro. Did I open it up again? Bat suit nipples. Bat suit nipples. It's crazy, man. That looks better. Jeez. Boom Boom Davison. Thank you, Boom Boom. That suit looks like trash. I'm hoping they're having it be like Spider-Man, where this is the first one is homemade, 
And by the end, she gets an upgrade because I lost my boner from this. And that's exactly the point, my friend. Christina Hudson doesn't want you to have a boner. You should not be having a boner at Batgirl. Why are you objectifying her? She's a hero. Don't look at her for her curves or her body. You're supposed to appreciate her kick butt ability. And she could kick butt just as good, if not better, than Batman. Put your boner away, Triple boy. Combo. That's the purpose of it. So you don't get a boner. Like we've been getting boners to Batgirl for the last 30 years. It's insane, bro. I sense a plot to destroy Batgirl. This is truly sad, man. I'm disappointed. I, re I really am. Uh, Joe the Film Guy. Five dollars. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate you. Jody, I agree. He says, I'm feeling it, but I did see that they're basing her early suit on the bad girl of Burnside. It looks spot on to this in the comic. Joe. Joe. No, 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 Joe. That's not bad girl, Joe. Joe, let's not do that. We're not going to do that. Just because it has a small little glimpse in a comic book series that lasted 30 years doesn't mean you make a movie based off of it, Joe. Batgirl's known as looking something else. Batgirl has an iconic look. This is not Batgirl's iconic look. That's like making a Superman movie with the silver Superman sign with no cape and a gun. Just because it was in a comic, don't make it okay. You got to make a Superman uh, movie with the red, blue, and the yellow, with the cape. But it's okay, Jody, he, if he has a mullet. He had a mullet in the comics and a silver and black suit. It's appropriate. It's spot on. Uh, uh, doesn't make it right. Doesn't make it right. We got to go with how what makes him iconic. I know you said I'm not feeling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You typed it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I had him looking slow at it, but, bro... I'm not. Uh, anybody likes this suit? Does anybody in the chat like this suit? Would like to defend this suit? For me, I don't. I think this suit is bad. It looks bad. It looks cheap like the CW. And we're above that. We're, especially since HBO is trying to distance themselves from the CW by selling the CW off and getting rid of that cheesy, campy, woke SJW, LGBTQ plus promotion, black, woke, Asian color swap race gender bender network that doesn't care shit about superheroes. That's why they're selling that off. So why are you going and then changing the Batgirl costume to look like she's a stud who is a part of a biker gang who has Batgirl patches and just says, you know what? All right, I'm just going to patch mine on. Let's go fight some crime. And those boots, that costume is just not it. From the neck up, she got it going on, and the colors. I'll give you guys that, because I give credit where it's due. But that is a horrendous-looking suit. When the CW, when the CW, the CW, which is comprised of two trash networks, the WB and UPN, produce a better-looking suit than an HBO Max network that got hundreds of millions of dollars because they, they pride themselves is not TV. It's HBO. Well, I don't see that here. And I hope, and I can say I hope all I want, but I know, I know this suit looks like that because Christina Hudson is the writer. I know it looks like that. Harvey, Harvey, Harvey. He says this trash rider is going to have her beat down the most manliest man and say girls get it done better. Miss me. Christina Hudson is the biggest obstacle that the Flashpoint movie has in front of it. You can Jody that one as well. Uh, and I've said it since jump. Why they're giving Christina Hudson all of this. You know what? Maybe there is some 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 truth to the whole Batgirl, Supergirl going to have a prominent role with the new DC if you're putting Christina Hudson behind a lot of these projects, you know, that's tough. You got someone like Patty Jenkins who's not about the woke bullshit and she's about appropriation. She's about giving justice and respect to both genders regardless. 
and you're letting her, you pass up on her Superman project to push this other black woke bullshit. Oh, no, no, no. That's not the way. Guys, Warner Brothers, you're saying that Superman failed. You gave Brian Singer a pedophile the right to do Superman, put him in these small shorts with his cock poking out. You picked the gayest looking guy in Brandon Ruth to do it. I love Brandon Ruth. He was a great Superman. But we know what's up, Brian Singer. You put him in them little shorts and them tights and shit, looking at his booty clap. You didn't put a villain in Superman Returns, but that could have been a good movie if you put a villain in it. Then you get Zack Snyder, Man of Steel, me and Emo. That, that didn't work out. Just give somebody who actually loves Superman the rights to do the character. Not J.J. Abrams. He ruins movies. Not Christina Hudson. She ruins movies. You would have think that Birds of Prey would have taught you a lesson, but apparently not. This is going to be a woke agenda-based movie. I knew it as soon as I saw that she was on the IMDb credits as one of the writers. I'm disappointed in this suit, but it's appropriate. It makes a lot of sense tied to that writer. Bad Girl is doomed, in my opinion. I will be watching it, but it's doomed. It's going to have rhetoric and agenda all throughout it. Throughout it, Ladies and gentlemen, gone are the days where our superhero movies were actually about the superhero. It's really more important about what genital piece does she eat, lick, or suck? Does she suck cock or lick vag? Does she like black guys or white guys? Asians. Does she have an Asian best friend or does she have an Indian best friend? Because we know it shouldn't be a white man. White man, the devil. You can miss me with that bullshit. I'm Jody Joe. Subscribe to the channel for more of that real content. And I'm out. Deuces. Told you that I'm leaving. Like, comment, subscribe, bro. Thumbs this video up. Let us know how we did. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let us know. Thumbs up the video. Do it now. Bruh. Do it.